Good day, I am Divya from Group 25. Today I'll be talking about signs to report to nurse when caring for patients who are dying. So um, death is like the final stage of life. So um, it may come suddenly without warning or it may follow up with a terminal illness. There are different ways um, people cope when it comes to um, the concept of death. There are different types of uh, patient, there are different types of reaction when it comes to the concept of death. So there are many reactions when it comes to diagnosis of terminal illness and all that. So healthcare workers may feel helpless um, when caring for dying patient because remember, we have to remember that active listening, um, it means therapeutic communication. So listening shows honest and caring, um, uh, uh, caring personality regard of the patient so using touch as a communication caring acceptance when we are lost at words is considered that we are showing care so this is like the main goal when it comes to caring for patients who are dying so first i'm going to talk about is the grieving, grieving process the grieving pro process actually begins immediately after someone is diagnosed with a disease, a terminal disease, a life-threatening disease, so anything. So mourning before someone dies is called anticipatory grief. So patients and family grief form a way of life and also recognizing returning to it may be impossible. So during this time, um, there are different rules. Friends and families may begin to separate themselves from dying people. So there are different type of ways people deal with loss, people deal with the news of someone we love may die. So we have to take into account all of that is happening for our patient. So always, always, each loss, always remember that each loss triggers a grieving process that causes a um, feeling of isolation and abandonment. So make sure we look out for that. Before we enter into the signs and symptoms, I want to talk about the role of a nursing assistant when it comes to caring for patients who are dying. So as a nursing assistant, we must spend as much time needed to them because we will never know how they feel. Um, a person's grieving process is always different when it comes to the way they grieve, the way they handle pain, and the way their family members handle pain are always different. So as a nursing assistant, you must spend much more time with patient and have a unique opportunity to be their strength and comfort so these are the main goals so your response should be consistent you must be open and receptive to the patient because patients sometimes their feelings their mood change you know because sometimes it hits them reality check so yeah and your own feelings about death and dying influence your ability to care so your acceptance of death should be natural and also give your best and give, be as much as caring as you can for your patient start with the signs and symptoms that we should observe always be respectful um, a note that I want to uh, express today is always be respectful because as death approach there are notable physical changes okay reports that of that changes should be should be informed to the head nurse promptly and also hearing is the last sense to lose so make sure, do not assume that just because the patient is dying, you can speak. As a nursing assistant, we must always be respectful of our patient. So do not say anything um, that you would not say to a patient because the last thing that, that, lose, that they lost, that they lose when they die is hearing. So they may still be hearing whatever you are saying. So first, um, look out for patient's responsiveness if patients are getting less responsive. Their body functions slow down, um, patient loses muscle control, um, patient involuntary like uh, voids or defecate like a patient couldn't control that and their jaw tend to drop like their jaw just tend to drop, um, breathing is becoming shallow, irregular, um, you cannot get a pulse, blood pressure is voids or defecate like a patient couldn't control that and their jaw tend to drop like the jaw just tend to drop. Um, breathing is becoming shallow, irregular. Um, you cannot get a pulse, blood pressure, even though the patient is still breathing, but you couldn't get a pulse or um, blood pressure. Um, if their circulation slows down such that their extremities become cold um, and the pulse is becoming very, very, fa very, very fastly, progressively, um, rapidly weaker. You know, it's not like normal weak. It's like, 
it went down skin becomes pale and the eyes staring and do not respond to light so um yes those are the signs those are the symptoms that we need to look at when it comes to caring for patients who are dying make always make a report make sure they are being sent respectfully always always show care to our patient and that is day 12 of my video and i hope you guys enjoy every single one of my videos from day 1 to day 12 i tried my best explaining as much and showing as much demonstrating as much as i can thank you very much and this is divya from group 25 chris x state medical university